Hi, my name is Jeff Davies. I'm the owner operator of Cybernautics Studios here in Mesa, Arizona. And in this tutorial, I'm going to go into how to best use the tattoos that come with SkinGen or any other tattoo packs that you may have downloaded, like my tattoo pack one for skulls. A tattoo is really just one or more image files that are categorized under the skin gen section of the character creator. So here you are, you can see on the side here, I've got an actor already loaded up. I'm in the skin uh, tab, acquired, and we can take a look under tattoo, and we can see the tattoos that come with skin gen. Each tattoo is automatically assigned to a specific slot on the character mesh. It can belong to the head and neck, the body, the arms, which include the shoulders, and the legs and feet. Furthermore, there are two different types of tattoos. There are monochrome, which are usually black and white, but not always, and color. I will show you how to use each one. Now, the black and white take up less disk space. They are saved as JPEG files where the background is 100% black. So let me grab one from my skull pack and I'll show you what that looks like. Go on to the body. And we'll grab the gambler here, or the gunfighter. Okay, now if we take a look at this tattoo in a little more detail, you can see that the image in the JPEG is inverted. So the white shows up as black, and the black shows up as transparent. Now if we take a look at a color tattoo, we can come down here, they only have one. So I'm just gonna drag and drop to summon character. I wanna add, I don't wanna replace the existing tattoo, I want to add. And you can see I get a color tattoo down here. Now, if I click on it, this is a PNG file. And the black background isn't black, it's transparent. So it's a PNG with a transparency. Now this also has a normal map and it has a roughness map. Very often I find with tattoos, you can get away with just, the, just the PNG. You really don't need the normal map or the roughness map unless you want to show that it's a recent tattoo and it's got a little bit of scabbing underneath the ink that goes on. Now, as you can see, you have other channels you can use also. You have opacity, ambient occlusion, metallic, displacement, and glow. So you've seen some sci-fi augmentation possibly where it looks like They've got metal embedded in the head or things like that, or lights that glow. Uh, that's all done through that, that glow channel and the metallic channel. Now, one thing you should know is you cannot place a color image in a tattoo that is designed for black and white images. So like this one up here, it is the nature of this shader to expect a JPEG with black and white information on it. If you try to put color in here, it will be interpreted as a black and white, and you're not going to get the results you want. So if you want color, use a color tattoo. If you want black and white, use a black and white tattoo. Now, armed with this knowledge, I made the mistake of releasing my first tattoo pack, the skulls, with 32 images, each duplicated into the four different slots. So here you can see them for... Uh, the arm, and then you get the exact same ones for the body and the head. And this was due to a fundamental misunderstanding on my part. I could have just released them all in the body, and I'm going to show you what I mean and how to move them where you want them to. So, for example, this color tattoo automatically went onto the body. It doesn't go anywhere else. Every time you drag that color tattoo it's going to go onto the body. So what happens is you might want to drag the color tattoo on, and then you want to move it. 
So you, then you just right click on it and say, move to wherever you want it. I want to move it to the head link. So we'll say move to head and bang, it's now on his head. You can see it right there on his cheek. Now, the other thing you can do, of course, is that you can move these things. Maybe you don't want it on his cheek. Maybe you want it on his forehead. So we'll scroll down. We select the tattoo. We scroll down. Uh, we can control the scale of the tattoo. The width and heights can also be independently scaled. We can control the offset. This is really where you go to position your tattoo. So here we'll say zero. Not that. Here we'll say zero. And it puts it right in the center on the X axis. And then on the Y, we'll just scroll this up and we'll put it right in his forehead for whatever reason. We can also rotate it. And we can also control the bevel, uh, the expansion, the smooth, soften. Normally, I don't mess with these with tattoos. Now, one interesting thing, tattoos are not saved individually. They are saved as a set. So, for example, if I went on to this character, I've got just this head tattoo selected. If I go to Custom, and I go into the Acquired folder here, and I then say Save, it's going to prompt me for a name. So we'll just call it Test. And there's our test tattoo. And it just gives you a screenshot of whatever it chooses. So now let's go in here and let's delete that tattoo. And let's go to the body. And we're going to delete this tattoo. So now our body and head and the whole actor actually has no tattoos. So if we just click and drag this one tattoo we just saved, you'll see both tattoos come with it. If you're not expecting this behavior, it's really annoying. However, there's an upside to this. If you have certain characters that have a standardized set of tattoos, so you might have like a warrior class that all has tattoos, the same type of tattoos in the same type of places, this is a technique you can use to really make it easy to standardize those when you're creating your characters. However, if you are dealing with tattoos one at a time and you want to modify the tattoo and save it for future use, you'll have to do them one at a time. Delete the other tattoos, just have the one on there you want and save it. You'll notice that each one of these two tattoos automatically went to the appropriate material layer, the head, the body, what you have. Okay, and then finally, I want to talk about aging a tattoo. If you don't have a tattoo on your body, you may not know some of these things. Uh, tattoos do age over time. Their appearance changes. When you first get a tattoo, they tend to be, let me just want to scroll in here. They tend to be brightly colored, kind of shiny, all that good stuff. They're kind of shiny because you got scabbing underneath it. Sometimes you've got your vitamin E lotion on it. Whatever the reason, they're new and shiny. Now, as you get older, that will change. So let me demonstrate this on this older, what will be an older tattoo. So right now, you can argue it's still fairly shiny. This is a tattoo that's within a year old, we'll say. As this character ages, the tattoo itself is going to age. So let's go to the body. Let's select our tattoo. Let's come down here. And one of the things that's going to happen is the brightness. You can make it darker or you can lighten it. So it'll, it'll lose some of its color and luster over time. Similarly, it's going to blur. So maybe not like that. 
but we might add a little bit of blur to it. And this happens because over time, the ink is still alive in, in the skin. The skin is still regenerating itself, picking up that ink, and it does get kind of blurry. The expansion, you can use that to control. So maybe a lot of these lines might start to disappear as it expands. And the expansion contrast, you may also tune up over time. Just depends on the look that you are looking for, for your tattoo. Now, if it has a normal channel, which this one doesn't have really, well, it has, sorry. It has an automatic custom normal, right? So it's, you can create your own normal here if you wish, or we can just go back to default and it generates a custom normal for you. Uh, you can invert it. Doesn't really do much in this case, that's okay. But on the normals, we can start to blend also. Doesn't really do much for us. The strength, we can blend. I think it doesn't do much because we don't have a normal map. If we had a normal map, I think it would make a big difference in the look. Remember what you're doing here is you're just blending, strengthening, expanding, and blurring the normal map. I think the default generated normal uh, since it doesn't really exist, this really has very little effect on your tattoos. And that's really it for the basics of tattoos. I just wanted to share uh, that little gotcha for tattoo sets. And also the fact that there's a difference between color and non-color tattoos. And even though a tattoo shows up in one part of the body, you can easily move it to any other part of the body where you want it to be. All right, so hope you found the video useful. Please give it a like if you did. Give it a subscribe if you really like this kind of content and you want to see more of it. And uh, good luck. Let's get back to creating.